Deer. Sorry, Chloe, but... That was, uh... I haven't been here in forever. I'm already on his radar. So why do I feel like I, it was if just I need here? A, Whoa. I need them this to believe the me that it's Nathan bringing drugs to the school. And if the security guard is like, no, I caught her with pot, then they wouldn't believe me. That's not worth it. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. You lose. I'd have gone for s severely mentally handicapped, but sure. <laughs> Sign. Look. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. All right. Well, there's no vortex tornado thing going on. Warren sent me a selfie. Earth to Max, your white knight Warren here. Don't call yourself that. No, you're worried about me. Oh, I thought it was a shadow, but that's where you got punched. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later, Kay. I swear. No problem. You still have to tell me your big secret. What? I didn't agree to anything about that. Oh, the secret that I was talking to him about. Heck, that's, that's lol in word speak. Here we go. Look, we found some stuff. Whoa. All right, Warren. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because there's tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn and I am thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally the same age here and he makes me smile then there's Chloe she reminds me of uh, a siren from Borderlands 1 then there's Chloe Price what do you say to your best friend after five years of science after finding out you saved her life in a bathroom nothing I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even text I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again for one thing she looks so similar but so different she's all grown up now but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate. Except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out no matter what. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile. Why did it? Oh, maybe it's a line like that. All right, Rachel time. Where's Rachel Lambert? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality, like missing person posters, literally. At wallpaper at all around over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so for her sake. It's so depressing. I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. Sigh, no matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. Okay. Looks like we have two more people. Whoa, we got a lot more reading to do. Okay. I read this one, right? Oh, there's more. Oh, I may have missed some or missed some stuff, guys, because it actually fills out. Oh, well. Uh, I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there is, has to be a reason it was given to me. But I better learn how to use it right. Or better how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football fuel, football fueled headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. 
I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. Couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual, but I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did what, that without using my rewind power. Heck yeah, I did. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash eye without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad, half good, which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott freaking all, out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I knew what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up a truck, my former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Next thing I knew, I was in her car, our truck, and Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock, I was almost paralyzed, especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in the Chloe's battered truck, listening to music, and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I... I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. Okay. So, she... Technically, it's two sides of the story. If Chloe didn't contact Max, although Chloe's dad just died, so she could have been in grieving. We'll give her a pass. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed, she wanted to blaze up, and she also ex explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. Story time, lay back and relax. <laughs> Indeed. I am another one. I'm an other one. Okay. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked out and laid into me for not calling her once I deserved it. Or once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed it most. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude. Probably some psycho online. Well, I wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Totally creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see where he's, wh why she's got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix this stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and I knew it was in the bathroom set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy. Like when she, we were kids and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit. That's adorable. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. I couldn't hide and then David came in angry about the music and that I was there. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. That shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on us. He said it was mine, but I didn't take the blame. Maybe I should have. But I was thinking about my Blackwell scholarship over my best friend, and David truly scared me. Anyway, now Chloe was pissed at me all over again. Back to square one. I keep trying to make up the right choices, but I keep screwing it up. What Chloe did is a bullshit move. Like, you don't do that. Like, as angry as she is at me, like, bullshit that I did about not calling her back and all that stuff. You don't drop a bomb on someone like that and expect me to take the heat. Like, in real life, I may have put up with that. But there's bigger fish to fry here in this game. 
All right, just read a bunch of stuff. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Matt. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> okay. Campfire! I light it? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Hey, Chloe. What's up? This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I need to ask why Are you're you pissed at me. Pissed at me? I just for not taking the heat. some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I forgot my drink. Freaked out on Kate. Should have taken his photo. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take Yeah, a he's peek? crazy. You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Why Good would thing you want to look? He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? There totally I are. You didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. <laughs> and he dosed me with some drug in his room. That's what? fucked up. I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. What a fucking ass. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Yeah, fucking... I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to 
fucking glass. Oh no. no. Oh no. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Deer. Follow the deer. Follow the deer. I think. Is Chloe still up there? Whoa! I have to find out. Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast. Wait, what? Bro. game is weird. It's like it's forcing me to use my rewind powers like there's some sort of negative consequence to it if I didn't use my rewind enough. If so, that's kind of lame. Hey, dear friend. Ghost, dear friend. Like this is Crazy oh vortex. My Lord. The tornado is back. Whoa! read the newspaper in this giant storm going on. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. In four days? That didn't show up on the weather Chloe, radar? You're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. Mm -hmm. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking All right. day. Alright, tell me something that I wouldn't know, and I'll reverse time and tell you something that I- that thing I shouldn't know. That'll prove it. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Hey, it's Joyce.
No, Kate. Down no. Were those tapes? It said Lynn, Kelly, and Rachel. Alright, so that was episode one. Okay. I'm liking the game. I think we're gonna continue on. However, I have to go buy the rest of the episodes. Hot second. A kind gesture. Oh crap! We forgot about the double puppy treats. Yuri's reminding us puppies. Want some cookies? Num num num. This is from Anna. Nom 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 cookies. Oh, and this one's from Yuri. Nom nom nom. Oh, you want to see Pa? Come here, Jada. Come here. Come on up here. Come here. Come here. Hop up. Come over here. Come here. Sit. Cheek. Yes, a good doggy. Other paw. Nope. Other paw. I so go puppy. Nom 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 cookies. Nom nom. That's from Yuri. Hey, thank you. You're naked. You got a bath. Thank you, Yuri. Appreciate those bits, man. I keep forgetting that um, bits and stuff get the doggos treats. So thank you for reminding me. This one's stupid. She can do paw sometimes. Other than that, she's she's dummy. She, she doesn't know anything. Oh, I was looking up um, Life is Strange. gonna buy the next ones okay okay all right we got them we got new episodes coming in they should be downloading here <laughs> she has no idea what I'm about <laughs> nah she has a legit case of uh, meathead for sure. But it's adorable. Like, she, she just chooses to not do things for some reason. She's pretty dumpy, but I love her. Huh, dummy? Needs. Needs you dumpy. I think a lot of it's too, she's not... Mama's isn't food motivated at all, which is weird. So like, you try to do anything for a treat, she's just like, okay. Yeah, sure, I guess I'll do it, but... Like Jada, she will learn anything for a treat within like an hour. I was teaching her, I was having Jada turn off lights. I could tell her, to, and like, go turn off the light and she'd go up and smack the light and turn it off. She learned that really quick. But mom is just like, I don't care about treats. Sure, I'll take one, but I don't care about them. It's funny. You 12 year old dog is smart, but one year old, not so much. <laughs> yeah, mom just doesn't care. It's funny. She runs into things like uh, Jada's got the zoomies once. And there's a counter over here that we use to block off the other side of the the basement 
because when I was fostering dogs, I'd go over there and getting into stuff. And um, this was a little after I got Mama's and it was blocked off. And Jada got the zoomies. She's running all through the basement and Mama's is chasing her. Well, trying to. Mama's is a hippo and she's not very graceful when she runs. Anyway, so Jada's is zooming around and then um, she jumped over the the couch. And Mama's is like, yeah, me too, me too. Wham! Didn't even jump. Just slammed straight up into it. <laughs> just, and then she was like, looked at all of us and we all just laughed our asses off. She's like, you have to jump, dummy. And she does stuff like that all the time. She got the zoomies in my room a week or so ago. And she tried to she was coming around my bed and you know my bed is here and my nightstand table's here and she was running this way and she went to like decide to jump on my bed so she would run this way and she'd jump up like this but she she didn't account for that she'd actually would have to push off and jump this way so she just ran this way and hopped and turned her body and slammed straight into my bedside table without even doing any momentum this way just she is a hippo. Motivations matter when conditioning a dog. Yeah, she loves toys, but like all out of all the dogs I've had and all the fostering I've done, like no matter how much this a dog would love their toy. If I pulled out a treat, they were like, great, I'm down. Let's do this. That's cool. Like, and then I'll play with my treat later. Mamas would take a treat or take a toy. Like she is hard pressed. And, and if she does take the treat, she swallows it immediately and goes back to her toy. When um, the dogs get their doggy box in the mail, Jada knows the box now. And she starts mooing and making weird noises. Um, but when I'm open it. Jada doesn't give two shits about the toys in there. And I open the toys first and I try to give one to Jade every time. She's like, nope, don't care about that. And mom's like, I'll take it. And so I gave it to mom and she runs off and goes and hides it in my room. And then she comes flying back in because I'm opening another toy. And I'm like, all right, Jada, do you want this one? She's like, nope, don't care. So I give it to mom as it takes off. And then I open the treat bags and Jade is like, oh, baby, here we go. And then they get a treat. And then mama comes running back in to get a treat. And then she goes and chomps on the toys. But Jade doesn't care. Does not care. Jade only cares about the toys like a couple hours afterwards. It's like, oh, okay, we got a new toy. I'll, I'll chew on this now. But doesn't care. Not so hungry, hippo. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm talking about you. Hey! What are the... Are these percentages... Of people like that play this you could have stayed hidden that's upsetting wow I'm in the 1% that blamed Chloe yeah help Kate this is cool I didn't know where to hide, guys. I tried. I tried the bed. I tried the closet. Tried getting rid of the... marijuana. I have to look up where you could have hidden. And like I walked all over the room trying to find the pop-up. I tried thinking maybe you could go under the desk. Nothing. Friend stats. Oh. Hey, so my buddy is the only other person that's played this game, and it looks like we did the same thing, except for right here. Oh, no. Maybe two of my friends have this game then. Or something interesting. I could have took a photo, but intervening, I think, is better. Like, if you see someone in that situation, don't take a photo. Intervene. Hi, doggo. I love you. Mwah. Give kisses. Fresh. That does nothing. Exit. <laughs>